Hi, it's Martin, and welcome to another video on my Knit365 YouTube channel. This is episode 7 of Vlogmas. We're still in Stockholm. Last night here. Hello. Come and say hi. Hi. And it's snowing, and the town, we're in the old town, and it's just, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, I should have said to Mark, if we ever move, can we move here? But I only want to live here, on this street, in the old town. I'm going to message my good friend Beatrice now and say, is it expensive to live here? But this is episode seven. We've played the credits already. I'm not doing one of those roll the credits. But I just thought I wasn't going to film until tomorrow when we head to the station. But it's just too pretty not to share look it's proper like i don't know it's proper <laughs> old school everything's so pretty and this isn't a travel blog this is a knitting blog but if it was going to be a travel blog i would probably start it here in the old town of stockholm right but now we've had dinner it was a lovely dinner we're now going for drinks and then we have to be in bed because we've got to be up early to get our train. So the next time you see us, we will be at the train station. So good night from me. Good night. <laughs> good night from him. It's good night from me and it's good night from him. So good morning, good morning. It is Thursday. Um, I think I'm going to leave the introduction in of me walking around in the snow going, oh, it's pretty, because it really is pretty. Um, we are packing. Um, it is currently about nine o'clock Swedish time. And our train, I was going to say plane, our train is 10.20. So we need to get a wiggle on. We're only about 15 minutes from the train station. But um, we like to get there plenty of time, nice and early, so there's no stress. Um so I'm just packing up and my toft bag is going in the suitcase. Um, so today's um, advent, there isn't a bag for, so I don't have a, so this is the 17th. Um, I don't have a 15 because um, today's is loose. Today's is the stuffing. So today is exciting because this is when our creation comes to life. So when I'm on the train... I'll report back. I sewed all the legs up yesterday. Um, I put jewels on the end of the claws. So I finished yesterday's clue, um, but haven't filmed that yet. So I'll film that in a bit um, when we're on the train. And then I will start, hopefully, stuffing up. Um, and then a bit of knitting on the train. So I feel so much better still. Um, but my voice is still a little bit. If I was Elphaba in Wicked, I wouldn't be going on. The standby would have to go on. I'm sounding a lot better, but I still can't speak very... I'm not sounding so much like, hello, dog. I can't go any low anymore. But there we go. Um, but apart from that, I feel fine. And Mark hasn't caught my cold. Yay! He, oh, don't say that. He said, don't hold your breath. Which is very good, because... If he caught it, and it was my fault... <coughs> I'd have a row. And you can all imagine that I'd have the row, can't you? Yeah. Um, but there we go. I'm coming to the end of it, which is good. So, right, I need to pack. Otherwise, I'm going to have a row for holding us up.
So we are all aboard, <clears throat> all aboard, all aboard. Um, I have free pop from the station. Um, right, so I've decided it's so pretty. Um, <clears throat> I tried to do Mark's Cowl following the video instruction and the video instruction is for a left-handed continental knitter and I am a right-handed English knitter and I can't get my head around it. I think I've just got a block now and it's a really easy pattern and I just can't do it. So I've messaged Louise going, <laughs> me, I'm stupid. Um, so for now, I am going to do today's toft, um, which is, as I said earlier, stuffing. So I'm gonna stuff the bird and do today's bit of the clue. And then I'm gonna go on to my cowl. Um, even though 98% of you said, do Mark's cowl. I think I'm gonna get pin badges made with hashtag Team Mark. Because there's not a lot of you that are Team Martin. Although the fact that you're here watching my videos probably means you're Team Knit365 and Team Martin. But I should have known what the answer would be. As soon as I um, ask you the question, you are always gonna be Team Mark. Which is fine, I'm okay with that. You all love him like I do. Right, let's get stuff in. Okay, we are making good progress. My voice is going again. Um, we've been on the train two hours. So today's advent was so up. So she's stuffed. They're stuffed, he's stuffed. Um, there's the little bejeweled claws. And on the back that I did yesterday. So jeweled claws, legs on. And then we've started the headpiece. So we've added all of these little slip stitches um, and spines to the front. So this is the front of the body where the uh, centralizers are. And then this is the headdress that we've started to build. So more on that tomorrow, I'm guessing. Uh, but there we go. And you can just about see the beads coming down around the back and up around the sides. So that's today's clue done in two hours. Obviously I've been sitting chatting with Mark, having coffee. I haven't done two hours solid on it. Um, but I'm now gonna sit back, relax, and do some knitting on my cow. Because I still don't know how to do Mark's. Operation fail. It'll all get done, no stress. into the trip will be mm -hmm. four hours about four hours in um, I think Malmo is the next stop yeah so Malmo is the next stop which is the last one in Sweden then it's Copenhagen so Louise messaged me back and she's super lovely and she's probably rolling her eyes at me but I've not done it fixed it um, so that's one pattern repeated. So it's been a productive trip so far. I've done some more. I've added about an inch on my, my cowl. Hear back from Louise. And now I've done one pattern repeat on Mark's. <laughs> which is like one centimetre. <sighs> Got a long way to go. But at least I now know what I'm doing, so I'm gonna go and do it. We are nearly at the end of our train trip. It's been a quick five and a half hours. Um, so I've done two pattern repeats um, I will do more on this but my my cowl um, I've got the pattern repeat memorized it's a four row repeat 
and it's really easy to memorize. This one, I think I can probably memorize it, but it's a five row repeat. And then there's the two rows that I got stuck on. My worry at the minute is if I put it down, say I'm on row three of the five, will I remember which row I'm on? Ja, det samma. Så vi väntar på tillstånd att fortsätta in till Pena 2. We are currently waiting for permission to continue to the platform. We are just approaching Copenhagen Airport. So this is the last stop before we then get off. So yeah, so it's been a productive little train ride. I've done my bit on Mark's carol. I've done some bit on my carol. I've sewn up today's advent. I'm going to have a little bit of cake and finish my coffee. So there we go. Um, yeah, we will now see what happens when we get to Denmark. Or when in Denmark, you know, when we get to Copenhagen, it's going to be exciting. More coming soon. I love being in Scandinavia. Literally, just out to go and find a, a bar to have a drink. Knitting shop. <laughs> you can't throw a dart at the board without hitting a knitting shop. You know you're in Scandinavia. Woohoo! Although we're going out for drinks now, we're not going out wool shopping. That's tomorrow. Good morning, good morning. Copenhagen day one. We have had some breakfast. My lips are very chapped. They're shiny because I have balm on them. Um, <laughs> random. There he is. Say hello to your Dorin fans. Hello. Hashtag Team Mark. Um, we are, we're going to find a department store, which is not George Jensen for a 90s throwback for all of you cartoon kids. What's it called? It is George Jensen. George Jensen. Not to be confused, as I just Not did, George with George Jetson. <laughs> Jane, his wife. Daughter, Judy. Um, <clears throat> every time Mark talks about the department store, I have to sing the Jetsons theme tune. Random. Um, we're going to go there and see if we can get something. We've got something in mind for niece three and nephew one, because it's their birthdays coming up. Um, they'll both be one, which is very exciting. Um, so we're going to go and have a look there first thing so we can make a plan uh a plan b if they don't have what we want and then i'm meeting up with someone called oliver who has messaged me on instagram and said i don't live far away from copenhagen do you want to meet for a knit and a coffee absolutely um so i think mark's gonna go and do some shopping for an hour while i meet oliver and say hi and chat and uh, do some knitting. Although I still don't feel confident enough to knit on Mark's cowl in company because I'm like, shh, shh, hang on, I need to count. So I'll probably go back to my cowl because <laughs> I can do that without thinking now. Getting the excuses in early. Um, and then yeah, we'll do some sightseeing today and take some pics of gloriously festive Copenhagen. My voice is so much better today. I'm still not up to singing Defying Gravity yet, but I'm feeling even better. Woohoo!
we have bought wool. Mm. A lot of it. Nothing to do with me, him buying wool. <laughs> uh, my secret project, I'll show you when I get back to the hotel. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> Hi, Editing Martin, just popping in. So you've just seen Oliver, Mark and I at the yarn shop, which was brilliant. And um, I had just a loveliest time. I didn't get any other footage of um, knitting with Oliver because I walked in very late. I went to the wrong place. There are two bars in the same city with the same name. Who'd have known? Um, I'd have known if I'd researched it properly. Um, so I was a little bit late. I was a little bit flustered when I arrived. Um, but it was brilliant. We sat down, we chatted, um, nearly two hours. It was just lovely. Mark came in and had coffee with us as well. And then, um, Oliver asked if we had time, he would love to take us to a knitting shop, um, and show us around. So we went to Sommerflugel, uh, Sommerflugeln. You've seen it in the video. Um, and then after that, we went to the Tivoli Gardens, Mark and I, so we left Oliver. Um, so I'm just popping in because we're now going to go into footage of the Tivoli Gardens and I didn't think it would make sense. Otherwise you're like, oh, where do you know? Because I don't do a piece to camera that goes, we're now at Tivoli Gardens. Um, they're in the city centre. And just remember when you watch this footage now that we're in the city centre. Like it's less than a 10 minute walk from the hotel. Um, and it's just glorious. Mark and I went a few years ago um, in the evening. So we wanted to go in the daytime and see what it was like. But there's, as you'll see coming up, food stalls and shopping stalls, retail stalls. There's a theme park, um, boating lakes. It's just fabulous. So watch the footage of Tivoli and then I will be back at the end to show off where we got to with yesterday's advent what today's advent is, and then wrap this video up.
Okay, it's Martin from the present again, not the future. I've changed, I've got my contacts in, I've had a shower. Um, I was editing early on and I was like, right, grab a t-shirt. <laughs> but um, it is now Saturday morning. Is that right? Yeah. It feels like we've been away forever. It's Saturday morning. I'm just going to wrap up this video with doing two days of Advent. Um, and then I'm going to finish editing this together, get this uploaded. So this should go live Saturday afternoon. And then the next video will be Monday when we're back home. Boo. When we can wrap up the whole trip. Um, and I'm going to be a bit more of a tease because this video is already getting a little bit longer. Um, so I'm going to make you wait one more video to find out about the yarn that I bought. Um, Oliver gave me a really lovely gift and it kind of ties in great minds with um, what I want to do with my yarn choices. So I'm going to show you Oliver's gift, but again, when I wrap up that bit of the video. So we will do yarn discoveries in the next one. Um, so yesterday was day 16 and I don't know where the day 16, oh, there it is. So yesterday was day 16 of Advent and we had this lovely little tin. And I finished day 16, or most of day 16's clue, um, but within the tin, it's to put the, <laughs> it's to put the centralizers. Um, so I've taken some of the centralizers off. So they live in a lovely little tin. So day 16, we added the wings to our festive friend. So um, you saw this on the train. So there's the headpiece um, and this is the front. So the wings sit on him or her or they like a jacket, uh, which is really cute. Um, and then they are open at the back, um, like a little tailcoat, I guess, actually. Um, and then they're kind of pinched. So you, you pinch them together and you almost open them up like a claw and then sew them into place and then just pinch the back and sew that in. So I've added on... I bit my tongue yesterday, which is why I might sound like I've got a little bit of a lip. Because I'm trying not to avoid it. Isn't that the most annoying thing when you bite your tongue? Um, random off-piste. Um, I feel like I'm talking funny. And it's not my cold. Which, as you can hear, is a lot, lot better. Um, although I have only had this as my first coffee of the day. Right, so I finished the wings. And they are super cute with all of these jewels come in around so that's the front of the bird as they'll sit down um, and then the second part of yesterday which I haven't got very far on is I started the tail but we were feeling a little bit sleepy last night so I started the tail um, and that's as far as I've got but this will now be broken into five prongs um, yeah. And then, oh, Mark just sneezed. Uh, bless you. Um, so that'll be then prong. So I need to do that today, but that's not finished. I think they're looking at the photo um, on Instagram. I think they're only about this long. So I'll try and, we'll probably go out for breakfast now in a bit, and then I'll try and finish that bit of the clue. And then day 17, today, Saturday, another ball of wool. Are we changing colour? We are not changing colour. We have another ball of mist. Oh, interesting. It's very monochrome. I like it. I really do. But I wondered if we might have had like a baby blue. I knew that there was another ball of wool because obviously I grabbed all the advents that I needed while we are away. But I did wonder whether that was going to be a, a blue, perhaps. Or maybe even like a baby pink, like a flamingo pink. That would have been quite cute. Um, so, no, okay, right. So we've gone back to mist, which is good because I've nearly run out of mist. So I wonder what today, I haven't read today's clue apart from I know that yesterday I left all the ends live on the five bits. So, yeah, that will be done. Well, I'll get yesterday's finished today and then we'll see what happens with the rest. So... 
thank you for joining me for Stockholm to Copenhagen adventures. I had the brilliant time on the train. It was so much fun. And I got some work done on Mark's Cowell. Woohoo! Um, I might try and get a bit. Can we find a coffee shop to sit in this afternoon? Yeah. I might work on your cowl. Not bothered. Um, so <laughs> Don't write checks, your body can't cash. Don't write checks, you can't cash. How rude. Um, so I'll get a bit more done on um, Mark's cowl, I hope, today. It's Saturday. We're going to go shopping. Um, no spoiler, but I said yesterday we were going to a department store to try and look for something for the babies. Um, and then I did mention it again. We did buy something for the babies. Um... My, my sister-in-laws don't watch this, um, so I don't think it's a spoiler. We bought them baby's first cutlery set. Oh, super cute. Um, so we got those, and they got them gift-wrapped, and it was all really cute. Um, Danish. Oh, it's lush. Um, oh, yeah, but... <laughs> Mark's like, no, but Katie's mum does. It's like, hi, Sue, if you're watching. Yeah, but by the time... When's no Noah's birthday's Friday. There's no way... I'll, I'll message Katie in a minute. I'll find out. If she's up today. I doubt she's up today because they've been away. I'm sure it's fine. But thank you for the spoiler warning. I'm not editing this out. This is hilarious. Um, so yeah, we did buy... <laughs> we did buy um, a little present. So that's all sorted. So it's been a... Um, another great few days. It does feel like we've been away forever. Um, and I'm not going to end this video on a downer. But I just want to mention... One thing, I have deleted a couple of comments off the video because there are people, um, a few comments have been, you've got a cold, you might have, you know what, you're irresponsible being out, you should be testing, you should be staying in the hotel. Um, I don't have you know what, I have tested, it was negative. Just remember that I'm editing three days of footage into a 30 minute video and I'm not going to tell you everything that we get up to. You obviously see the edited highlights, but I'm also never going to mention anything really medical and like getting a test is probably medical. Um, so I don't have it. I'm not irresponsible. I did test. We are fully vaccinated, all the rest of it. I'm not getting into a, a COVID discussion because it can be quite a polarizing topic. Um, so no, I am fine. I am getting a lot better with my cold. Ah, <sighs> just as we're getting ready to go home. <laughs> so it's Saturday. Um, we'll forget that now. Um, it's Saturday. I am going to go shopping with Mark. We're going to find a coffee shop and then, um, you'll watch this video Saturday afternoon and then I'll be back on Monday with a Scandi wrap up, but a continuation of Vlogmas, of course, because Vlogmas carries on until next saturday yeah christmas eve so there will be a final christmas eve edition um oh we're going winter wonderland and skating on nephew one's birthday so christmas eve eve that'll be exciting anyway lots more to come i'm now babbling and mark is like time for breakfast time for shopping so thank you very much for being here hi to oliver thank you for inviting me for coffee um and being just the loveliest person um Oliver told me they've got 43 for Christmas, which makes our 12 for Christmas look bonkers. I'd love a big big Danish Christmas like that. It sounds amazing. So I had the best of time um, meeting up. And I hope that you guys have all in, um, enjoyed Tivoli and bits of Copenhagen that we've shown you. And of course, there will be more to come. So um, I will leave it there. And until we speak again, happy crafting. <laughs>